Hi, my name is Miranda Castaneda. I'm here today to talk to you about cervical cancer screening recommendations. This can be a very intimidating topic for women of all ages, so I want to talk to you more about it today to make it a more comfortable discussion and to inform you as to why cervical cancer screening is so important. Cervical cancer is caused by the human papillomavirus, also known as the HPV infection. It is spread through sexual intercourse. Uh, most women will experience an HPV infection in their lifetime. However, because HPV doesn't always cause symptoms, women will clear the infection on their own with no signs and symptoms of HPV. Other women, however, will experience changes on their cervix due to the HPV infection, and that is why cervical cancer screening is so important. Cervical cancer screening involves a vaginal examination by your primary care provider or gynecologist. They will take a sample of your cervical cells those cells will then be screened depending on your age and your medical history. All females between the ages of 21 and 29 should be screened every three years. All females between the ages of 30 and 65 should be screened every five years. This is per the American College of Obstetricians and Gynecology. If those results were abnormal, those screening recommendations may differ. For those females that are older than the age 65, you and your provider may decide based off your history and previous screenings that at that time you can stop cervical cancer screening. Females are most at risk if you started having sexual intercourse before the age of 18. Also if you have a history of multiple sexual partners, you are at risk for HPV. Additional risk factors include family history, history of changes on the cervix, and smoking. There is a vaccination that can help prevent the spread of HPV. If administered, the HPV vaccination can help prevent the most common forms of HPV infection that lead to cervical cancer. The ages of administration are between the ages of 9 and 26. If you are interested in HPV vaccination, please have this discussion with your primary care provider or gynecologist. 